Hey folks, how's it going? Steve Jenkins here, I hope everybody's well. I got a tip for you all today and this is about editing your ideas or it's about how to edit your ideas so that they can maximize their impact in a musical situation. Teaching my students has to do with building vocabulary. Musical vocabulary consists of melodic and rhythmic ideas and this can come from basically anything you've ever heard that has to do with music. It can come from like bass lines that you've transcribed. It can come from songs that you know. It can come from anything you've heard that somehow has managed to stick around in the pool of musical information in the brain. So sometimes what I'll do at a lesson, especially with students who are working on this kind of thing, I'll pull up a groove like this one right here. And I'll say, hey, play something to that. And sometimes they'll play something like this. Okay, that was a lot of notes and not a lot of space. And this isn't something that generally works that well because the drums are already playing a lot of 16th notes. So my suggestion when I usually hear something like that is met with this perhaps try to play a contrasting rhythm that still works for what's happening on the drums. In this case, I would suggest upbeats, and here's how that would sound, using most of the same notes. See, in this example, rather than having a two bar phrase that loops around and is too busy, we now have a four bar phrase. There's some space, there's a little bit of a question and answer thing, there's room to play fills and stuff. It's way less obtrusive and there's plenty of breathing room for all the other instruments. I hope this tip helped and inspires you to think about how to edit your own ideas. Here's a bonus tip for you. And sometimes I get students that are working on their reading and they ask me, hey Steve, what do I do to practice reading? And what I really want to say to those students is, you know what? You should just find something to read and practice it. But I realize that's not very insightful. It might even seem a bit flippant. So here's something you can do. You can take a bass line or any kind of musical idea that you've played a million times on the bass, but maybe something you've never read, and then go ahead and try to transcribe it. And what that's going to do, it's going to give you the ability to see what your ideas look like on paper and it'll help you expand your visual musical vocabulary, which is a big part of reading. So I hope that helps. Anyway, I'm Steve Jenkins, and I hope everybody stays safe and has fun working on this stuff.